Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So our first video today went up on Heart's Home. If you guys are not subscribed to Heart's Home, uh, I would encourage you to do so. And there are unique videos that go up there. Every video does go up on, on Patreon if you guys are part of the Patreon family over there. And this one was talking about mythology, but what really is mythology? It's just some leftover memories in most cases of beings and people and places and things that, you know, the system has distorted, but there's still some truth to it. There is, but sometimes we have to do a little digging to find that truth. Yeah, and not necessarily digging through other people's books and digging through other people's uh, thought processes, but actually digging in a more telepathic, <laughs> so to speak, uh, manner using gifts that we all have and, and various people have developed to various capabilities. But this is part of, you know, coming out of a dark age as we will be developing these gifts of telepathy, clairvoyance, clairsentience. It goes on and on and on. These are, are real uh, things that the CIA knows, the FBI knows, and not to harp too long on it, um, but it's been hidden from us and made to be viewed as, oh, pseudoscience. Well, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, again, the science that they give us is really just sales for the most part. And the true science is often labeled as something uh, in a very derogative manner. Indeed. Indeed. And again, Patreon family, a great group over there. Uh, so we would encourage you guys to join us over there if you are so inclined. Okay, Alaska confirms the first fatal case of Alaska pox virus. It's a type of orthopox virus, DNA viruses that can infect various mammals, including humans. So they say again, uh, the first thing that we would always recommend is just having a very strong immune system. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Well, you certainly don't do that by junk food. You certainly don't do that by not exercising. Uh, clean, fresh air. <laughs> well, they make that challenging with all those fake clouds in the sky. Clean drinking water. That's another challenge uh, with everything that's put in the drinking water and the toxic uh, environment that we live in. But again, building the immune system and, and also feeling rooted in a good s spiritual practice, a good mind-body-breath practice, exercise, all the basic things. Uh, is going to be just absolutely critical for the times that we are in. It is, and you know, and it, it is that mind, body, breath. I mean, people might not put a lot of weight in it, but it's that energy which helps build the immune system. And I think we're just taught differently from a very young age that, you know, everything that you need is on the outside of you, but it's not. It's, it's definitely on the inside of you. And oxygen, getting more oxygen in that body can really work wonders. Absolutely. That's why this channel is called Evolutionary Energy Arts, because originally I wasn't going to cover any news. I was just going to cover uh, things like qigong, pranic healing, uh, different mind, body, breath exercises. And then it expanded as time went on, it expanded really rapidly once the group uh, known as the Illuminatus uh, reached me out to me. And all of a sudden, everything took a different trajectory because I had no inclination to join the system in fact my purpose is quite the opposite is to expose the system and that's what we try to do every single day but also to help those that are in the system to to better themselves in natural ways because you know mother nature has provided all the answers for us it's just a member of remembering what those answers are here you see there's 318 quakes on the map that we have up right now looking at the American Southwest out of 447 across uh, the entire planet. And if we just nudge it a little bit more, you'll see vast majority of them are in California. And right now uh, we do have quite a large swarm going on over by Mexicali right on the border. 
has 209 quakes in the uh, map area right here. Most of these are small, um, varying depths. Uh, yeah, we're, we're seeing a lot of different depth variations, but all relatively shallow. Uh, again, this is probably related to uh, the four point whatever it was that was off the coast of Malibu. 4.6, I think, was the official uh, number. There's a lot of water out there. There's a lot of weight being added uh, to, to the western part of the U.S., California, and, and specifics. And again, uh, I do think sooner than later we will see the San Andreas and Cascadia go. Well, the, the water, the heaviness, the, the weather, the darkness, I mean, everything seems to be adding a lot. And, you know, it, it is. It's growing and growing and growing. So I, I just feel like it's something we need to watch right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what I wanted to do here, too, let me see if I remembered how to do this. Was it over in here? Yes, this is it. There we go. Okay, so let us look. When we look at this, now we put in the fault lines. When you look at the known fault lines, what do you see? Uh, yeah, it looks like Nevada is one big fault. Um, California is loaded with faults. And then we, we do have some fault lines going into Arizona. There are some also going on through Colorado and through New Mexico as well. But it's pretty obvious that the western part of the U.S. is absolutely loaded with fault lines. In my opinion, from the research I've done and what my gut says... Uh, is that this is because, again, those maps that show California as an island were accurate. California, in my opinion, was an island until about 1700. It impacted <laughs> the rest of the U.S. at that point in time. And this is why we have so many quakes, and it has uh, perhaps a tendency to have the most quakes anywhere on the planet. It's because it's, it's the, the newest uh, major impact that we've we've seen on the planet and most recent. Now, when we look to Oklahoma, because somebody was saying, oh, there's fault lines that go through Oklahoma. Those quakes aren't because of fracking. Uh, probably that person probably works for the fracking companies because where are the fault lines? There's one little fault here. Uh, where are they? They're not there, you know. So again, it, it's it's absolutely Oklahoma. The, the quakes that we see there are certainly caused by fracking. Uh, but again, we have a lot more going on than than just uh, the natural and the augmented uh, tracking the troop movement. And specific here, the naval ship news fleet and marine tracker. Uh, fairly similar to last week. Again, we have three groups that are within striking range of the Middle East, and we have four, again, out in striking range of, of China. And there was just recently one uh, exercise that just finished up. As you see, U.S. joins Japan, Australia for a trilateral South China Sea naval exercise. It's just one exercise after the other in these times. Again, what is a bigger moneymaker on the planet than war? I, I don't know. Mm -mm. No, I mean, it, it's very effective for those who are controlling because they pull all the strings. And, and I guess until people really start to see that and pull out of it and not... Um, add their energy to it you know this is kind of what we got or you know we have to take ourselves out out of that um, out of that field of view and we have an east coast destroyer squadron commander removed from command this is captain william mack harkin uh removed from his command no um, no impact to the command's mission due to the relief it was due to conduct reasons. Um, interesting seeing a lot of politicians stepping down. Interesting seeing a lot of people in the military uh, stepping down. Uh, by the way, you know, back to the hospital for you know who that we were talking about before. Uh, Austin there, you know, he's back in the hospital. How long does he have? Uh, how long do any of us have? How long does a certain 
category of people that have done certain things have. Uh, I think that the controllers know, but I think it depends on, you know, what lot you drew, you drew in uh, that cure, if you understand what we're talking about. Have to talk cryptically there, absolutely. Meanwhile, NATO countries to build bunkers along border with Putin as Europe warned to ramp up weapons stocks to wartime levels. And this is the Baltic nations of Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania as they are literally building bunkers. Here we go again. World War One, World War Two, yeah. So, you know, it's it's never the war to end all wars. They'll have another one on the horizon is is the way the system works. <laughs> That's what they do time and time again. Absolutely. Here is Rand Paul. Let's see. Where do we have the volume so it doesn't echo? Let's try this. Open the champagne. Pop the cork. The Senate Democrat leader and the Republican leader are on the way to Kiev. They've got $60 billion they're bringing. I don't know if it'll be cash in pallets, but they're taking your money to Kiev. Now, they didn't have much time, really no time and no money to do anything about our border. We're being invaded. A little invasion is coming across our border. 800,000 people came illegally in the last month. And all they had time to do in the Senate was get the money, get the cash pallets, load the planes, get the champagne ready, and fly to Kiev. Oh. oh. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I keep hearing that Nostradamus quatrain about great ri great leaders will be ridiculed because of the great disasters that come in April. But the reality is they've sold out us. They've sold out humanity and they know what they're doing. They're, you know, whether you want to call it money laundering, you know, they're padding their own pockets at the expense of everybody else. And how can you possibly, you know, it's tough enough to pay taxes, but when you see what the money is going towards, how, 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 does, it, how does it resonate with you? <laughs> I'll put it that way. How do you feel about paying your taxes when you know what that money is going to? You know, and that's, that's like a really horrible thing right now because if people don't pay their taxes, I mean, they could lose everything. They could lose absolutely everything everything so it's really putting us between a rock and a hard spot definitely not something that we find fair in any way criminal neglect no it's just criminal it's not neglect it's criminal period and that's pretty obvious to so many people now as you see fact republican senators working with the democrats to set an impeachment trap for whoever's in office in 2025 and whatever segment of the current USA uh, that person will be in charge of. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, it there was something put into law here that would enable it so that if uh, anybody goes against uh, the budget that has been put into place, uh, they could literally be impeached for it. You know, again, setting traps, absolutely. I mean, the traps have been set for us, all of us, the average people. You know, $1,300 per American household uh, is something that's significant at a time when, when many people can't afford to buy healthy food. But I would encourage you, buy healthy food uh, because you're going to need your immune system and eating unhealthy food is going to lower that immune system in these times. Texas town under martial law. Eagle Pass residents reveal how cops and troops are seizing their property and questioning locals as it stands at the epicenter of the migrant crisis. Um, you know, again, it's not good to be on the border. It's not good to be, you know, right on the coastlines in this time. Ideally, you would want to be away from those things. You don't ever want to be at the epicenter of a battle of any sort. And this is tr truly a battle that's ongoing. That's what I see. You know, it, it's just something that um, I don't like. It doesn't feel good. And this whole energy lately has just felt really yucky. Yeah. We'll talk about yucky, yucky energy here. There was a, a shooter, uh, a shooting in Texas in a church on Sunday. Turns out the shooter was a migrant from El Salvador. Long history of crime going back to 2005. 
um, you know, part of that whole other programming that's going on. <sighs> what can you say? What can you say? I mean, we, we're just seeing so many uh, criminal acts going on right now from those that are in the country uh, illegally. And it was at Joel Osteen's church. He's one of the eight richest pastors in the country, according to this article from BeliefNet. His net worth is $40 million. So, yes, absolutely. You know, it's profitable to be in politics. It's also profitable to be in religion. Because, again, this these are the things that garner uh, the monetary support so, so quickly and easily. Above him, you have Benny Hinn at 42 million. Remember Pat Robertson? You know, oh yeah, yeah, I remember him. The 700 Club, absolutely over 100 million. And Kenneth Copeland, uh, $760 million. We did a video uh, exposing some of the richest people in, you know, in these fields again. And there was some, some sort of... Uh, quote there was in Matthew I think it's it was in Matthew about it's easier to go through an eye for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich person to enter heaven well, because it, it does bring with a lot of responsibility and karma when you are in a position and you have so much energy sitting there at your disposal how do you use that energy are you using it to better humanity or just simply using it to better yourself that's the key question i know and i remember somebody actually trying to break that saying down in the 3d like trying to make some kind of sense of it like as if a camel could really be squished down to make so small to literally go like like they're trying to make like it's possible <laughs> is what it is yeah, rational, rationalization and justifications uh, for a cause that one believes in is something that will lead us astray again to seeing the real truth of what is going on. Here you have 47 fighting age men crossing the channel into England yesterday in one particular boat. You know, again, countless boats, countless people. 1,548 migrants and 34 boats uh, that crossed uh, so far this year that they know of. The government has no intention of stopping the boats as the contracts have been signed until 2030. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't there an agenda going with that year? Of course there is. Oh, but that must be a C C O N S piracy theory, right? Of course it is. That just means something that is speculated upon that has great merit and that will be proven later. It sure will. Uh, yeah, always. And it also means they just want to take the spotlight off of themselves by calling it that. We were talking about squatters in one area of Atlanta. Uh, the, the, the number of squatters across the country is just insane and incredible. It's happening um, all over, all over. And, you know, you have real estate agents that say they would be terrified to go out alone to show an empty house now. Because it probably isn't empty. So, you know, again, if you have a vacation home, a second home, a family home that's been empty for a long time and you don't know, <laughs> you haven't have had neighbors check in on it, you might want to, you know, have it checked in on before you go check yourself because you might find it's not empty anymore. That's, that's not nice. No, and when all these people coming over illegally setting up camp you you might find a, your own little al-qaeda uh troop sitting in a property that you think is empty yeah and I, I think if i remember correctly i'd have to look look it up but i thought there was some new like squatter laws oh, popped yeah. in about a year ago or so yeah the article does go on and talk about some insane squatter laws that have gone into effect especially in in states like california yeah. Uh, where you can't even boot them out. And also in the UK, and I think there's some similar ones going on in Canada, where you, you legally, like you find somebody, they're on your property, it's going to take you uh, a lawyer and a lot of money to get them off, even though they're there illegally. This is the insanity because they know what they're doing. And when we say that, we don't mean the, the squatters, we mean the politicians. This is all part of a much bigger plan. Trinidad and Tobago is a, a beautiful, uh, a beautiful island uh, grouping over there, 
and we have just this horrific oil spill that's going on. There was a flagless, what they call a ghost ship, that ran aground and capsized this week. Was that ship carrying <laughs> illegals too, besides the oil? Uh, we probably won't ever know. But it's a disgusting, uh, horrible ecological spill and very, very sad, beautiful, beautiful area. Kamala Harris says, you know, hey, you know, if 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 46 can't handle it anymore because he's senile, I'm ready to go. I'm ready, willing and able to be the head puppet. Oh, hooray. I feel so much better. She says those strings are attached perfectly. <laughs> Don't worry. Her mouth will move as, as she's yes. told and will say every word that she's supposed to say. She's had plenty of practice. She's good at reading scripts. Yes. She's, she wants everybody to know that. Meanwhile, a Dutch court has ordered the Netherlands to stop the delivery of parts for U.S.-owned F-35 fighter jets, which are used by Israel in what's going on in Gaza, citing that these deliveries violate international uh, law. Again, you're going to see pockets. It's going to be pockets uh, of, of resistance that's going to really change the world. And, and it will... At least on the timeline that we've been in, it feels like the world will split into several different camps. And yeah, there will be those that go into the cities um, that will not give up uh, the technology that they've grown very, very dependent on that will gladly take the universal basic income and will take everything that the government will give them. And, you know, unfortunately... You know, there will be no freedoms there, really, truly. Uh, and then there will be those that, that resist. And you'll have areas that are getting more free than ever that we've seen in our time period. And here you have a woman challenging the Swedish parliament about the government's support for what Israel is doing. And, of course, she's removed. It reminds me of that guy screaming at Hillary or one of the Hillary actresses' clones. Massive protests going on in, in London, right outside uh, of, again, the government, demanding the UK government stop support for what Israel is doing and the recent attack on Rafa. So you're seeing, again, people are tired. People have had enough um, in many cases, and we understand exactly what they're doing. And you get more and more admissions um, by these groups like the few. And here you have Christine Lagarde admits that without CBDC, central bankers run the risk of losing their power. Well, yeah, we should go back to barter and trade as much as possible. Gold, silver, whatever else is of actual tangible value. Eliminate the entirety of the banking system because that is really uh, what controls us. In my mind, eliminate the banking system Eliminate the whole concept of corporations that people can hide behind. And yeah, they get in trouble. Okay, one corporation doesn't exist anymore. They start a new one. Nothing happens to the individuals that are in charge. We have to change that. Make people, you know, again, these, these type of people that are used to running the show without any consequences coming to themselves. Uh, yeah, that has to change. That absolutely has to change. It does. It, it does. And I think right now what we need to do is um, some what we're doing anyway is dragging our feet when it comes to technology. It's like if, if we can get away with not, we're just staying in the Stone Age as much as possible. I'm not saying that's possible in every situation. But if you look at your situation and you have the option to not level up in technology, definitely go back to a easier, simpler way of life, even though it might be slower and more archaic and inconvenient for others. You have to do what's best for you, not others. Yeah, again, too, uh, you know, these these phones give off massive amounts of radiation. The 5G phones, obviously, uh, there's a reason why there is so many. There are so many people uh, coming out with turbo cancers and all sorts of illnesses while I'm thinking of it. Uh, BP Earthwatch, Jesse, uh, has made a video saying that he's going through health challenges right now. I believe it's his liver from what he's shared. So, you know, send a, a prayer and some healing energies his way. You know, at, while I, we haven't seen 
eye to eye from a spiritual perspective. I think he's a, a really good, well-intentioned person. Um, and, you know, he, he seemed to have been breaking out of the mold that had kept him in a certain uh, pattern of belief and expanding his horizons. And then he gets it with this. So please do send your prayers and, and healing energy uh, to BP Earth Watch's way. Yes, please. Definitely as, as much as you can. So Death Valley has a new lake. How's that? Isn't that cool? And it's been staying there. It's been there for six months. It's still there. There's more rain uh, in, in the forecast as well. So it may stick around for quite a while. That's super cool. It's too shallow to kayak in, but it is still uh, a, a neat little thing. And again, when you look to the Sahara, it's it's just so desolate, but yet at a time, perhaps not too far back, maybe a, a, as little as, you know, four or five hundred years ago, uh, there were dense jungles in the Sahara. Everything can change pretty quickly uh, on this planet, given the right conditions. Yes, I know. I remember when that came up a long time ago. I wanted to go out and see it, but I never got a chance. So for people to have a lake in Death Valley, it's exciting. Absolutely. And and we do know that area, Cindy especially. Uh, Romania's underground salt mines. Isn't that incredible? Oh, there are so many things around this planet that are mind-blowing and breathtaking. There's so much to explore. And, and again, unfortunately, most of the world's not even aware that it's really there. Oh, that's just beautiful. I love it. Absolutely. Very, very cool. And here we see, and I start off my day looking at this article, drinking tea every day is proven to delay biological aging. Yeah, choices that we can make. You know, again, if, if any of our regulars are still drinking Pepsi, uh, Mountain Dew, um, Coke, etc., um, my mind is baffled. Uh, it really is because, you know, that is, and one of our regulars had made the statement that they would view that as being perhaps even worse than, you know, drinking a Bud Light mm-hmm. per se. Or, you know, I mean, it's 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 pretty bad because it's it's an immediate immune system response. Everything with the standard American diet has has been all about leading us to the state that our immune systems are destroyed. We're in a state of constant in, uh, inflammatory uh, out of control inflammatory environment in our bodies leading the way for cancers and also for diabetes all sorts of uh, what you would call immune system responses and, and chronic ailments this is the condition that brings about chronic profits for big pharma chronic <laughs> chronic conditions chronic profits mm-hmm. Well, they like to have their customers from cradle to grave. The reality is changing your diet can eliminate the vast majority of the issues. It really, really can. And so how about, you know, making up big batches of tea? That's what I was doing today. I'd make assortments of different teas with purified water. Uh, We mostly use our reverse osmosis system. We do have probably six uh, different systems for purifying water, I would say. Um, And then we buy these teas in bulk, so they're not really too expensive because when you buy them in a tea bag, again, it's been bleached. Sometimes there's chemicals added. Buy loose leaf in bulk. Uh, You can buy different containers for them to go in of different sizes uh, that won't be toxic. And then drink these for your health because, again, everything that we uh, are drinking out of cans, for one, is pretty much fluoridated. So you're going to have fluoride, chlorine. You're going to have all sorts of uh, different things if you're, if you're drinking these uh, regular canned and bottled drinks from your big companies like Coke and Pepsi, etc., Well, you know, when it comes to tea, though, it was like the very first medicine. So it's that one thing that brings about healing. Now, it's not going to be fast, but it's not supposed to. When Mother Nature is healing, she goes at her own pace, but she does heal thoroughly. 
Absolutely. And, and heal, because you know, what you have in the allopathic medical system are things that cover up symptoms. They mask symptoms and cause other problems. Everybody needs a hug today. These guys got, got it down. They have uh, their own little, ooh, it looks a little bit too intimate for us to, get, to look at right now. Well, it, it's okay. It's sweet. Sweet. Yes. That's what we'll call it. It's sweet kitty love. Yeah. So, you know, again, give somebody a hug today and spread the love and spread your knowledge because sharing knowledge that's going to help people mind, body, and spirit is, is certainly something that is an act of love. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.